All right, so in this one, we are gonna be changing our featured slider to work only with the images that are featured at that time. Very similar to like what we've seen on that top marketing message. So if we went into our marketing messages, notice the start date and end date. Those things are what we're gonna be doing for our sliders here. Right now we don't have any start date or end dates and it's still showing up. Luckily, this one's gonna be nice and short for you because it's really not that complicated. Um, and I wanted to separate it out so we can just do only this and you can see how easy it is to adjust managers and query sets, or well, more specifically managers, uh, and how fast you could do it. All right, so if you design a manager well enough, then changing them are, it's fairly straightforward. Now, we already have something called featured, and this right here is basically gonna get all the ones that are featured based off of this query set. So realistically, we don't actually have to do a whole lot. Instead, I'm going to add all featured because it probably makes more sense to call it all featured, like all and then all featured, where get featured item just being a little bit more descriptive on our manager. So now that we've got that, we can jump into our view for where we're gonna be rendering this stuff right here and just do all underscore featured. And now if we refresh in here, it goes away. And that should make sense. And of course it's because of how they are not actually showing up. So I'm gonna come in here and change them to show up and I'm gonna change this to like 2012 to 2020. So that one's definitely gonna show up all the time. So we'll save and go back to the next one. And then let's do the screenshot. So of course you can play around with these. So for now I'm gonna say um, 08 and then I will do 11, save it. Okay, cool. So I've got two that are running um, and we'll do a refresh in here. Now we've got the first one and we've got the next, the second one. And of course, if we change that time, um, let's actually make these editable and let's change it right there. So I'm just gonna copy right from here with that comma and we don't need that in comma. Do a refresh in here. And we've got it editable now, so I can actually change it right here in the admin. Now this is kind of optional to you. It just really depends on how much time you're wanting to change. So now I'm gonna just change this second one uh, to the 20th. So it's a good amount of time before this video. Um, and now, and then I'm gonna add this other one, 29th to Let's say it's gonna be kind of a Christmas one or, or a holiday special to be more politically accurate, but you know, whatever. All right, save that and refresh. There we go. So now we're only showing two, right? So it works really well. And it works to the point where it's not really that difficult to change, right? Like we could do this at any time. Now we can set our dates and times on how, however we want, and which is nice too. You might wanna have a fallback one, you know, something that, that lasts for a very long time, uh, but you also might not. The only bad thing that's gonna happen is this just won't show up. That's not a bad thing, right? So if that slider doesn't show up, well, I mean, you're still gonna have stuff underneath it probably, like our products, like we do ha now, um, but uh, at the very least, it's gonna go based on the time uh, that the user is looking at, which is also uh, very useful. Now, there's one more thing that we might wanna add, and I'm gonna do that now, is adding a link to this page. So, um, now you could do it where the header text is safe. So if I did safe here, I could just make sure that the header text and slider text are safe. And then, but I also might want the image itself to be linked somewhere. You could do that. Um, so let's say, for instance, I put it as safe, and I come in here and say, a href equals to some product, or let's just do slash product. That's probably not a valid link, but we'll just put it in and I'll save it. Okay, so now if I refresh in here, it's now linked. Uh, granted the CSS for it is not great, so it might be something you wanna uh, update later. Click on it and it will now go to that link of whatever it is. Uh, but the image itself is not linked, so we can go in and we can link the image. Let's actually just test linking it first. 
So here's the image right here. And we're going to go a href equals to, let's just do slash some link. And then a, do a refresh in here. Now the whole thing is linkable. And also the text itself is linkable outside of it, right? So unfortunately, it looks like the image, the link is coming through on both of them when it shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, it should be actually how the for loop is going. So what we need to do then is if we want to actually have a link for this slider, well, we can make one. So in our models, we'll just go in here into our slider model and we'll just say link or let's say URL link, URL link equals to models.char field, max length, let's say it's 250, null equals to true, and blank equals to true. Okay, close out the server, and migrate, do the schema migration and the migrate. Of course, if you're on 1.7, it's make migration and migrate, but we are not doing that at this point. So let's run the server. All right, so now we've got this URL link. So back in home, or better yet, we want to do um, also, well, let's just do get the URL link. So inside of here in this link, we'll do, instead of that, we'll do if URL or slider dot URL link, put it on the top and the bottom because we need to make sure that we close off that link. Do and if. Again, top and bottom. And of course, we always want the image to show. Then we will just put our link here. And, and notice this is gonna be a full on link. It's not like super dynamic at this point. Uh, maybe later we could do something like that, but notice the link or the, the actual button for the link goes away. That first image, let's click on it. The URL link's not there. So I'll do HTTP colon slash slash. Let's just say, um, google.com or better yet let's just do slash product that link will still work so we'll just save it and refresh in here notice it's now linked the first one is the second one is not all right so this is linked all on the image so if i click on it it definitely goes if i click on first image it will go to the link that we set in it uh, in the admin all right so that is pretty much it for our marketing carousel. Um, I'm not gonna adjust the CSS because it's really gonna depend on the image that you put there. Um, you might have a white image or you might have something completely different. And then of course, you don't actually have to have this linked at all. This text doesn't have to be linked at all. The text, the image itself could just be linked. Um, that's really kind of up to you and you can make a decision there. If you have questions on this, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.